Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Up next in our 31 Days of Oscar celebration, we have a film from the Academy's sixth year, 1933, which, like all the movies we've been showing tonight, was nominated that year in the category of Best Director. It's also a movie nominated in the category of Best Picture, and unlike many of the films from the early 1930s, it really plays as well today as it did when audiences first saw it all those years ago. And as we know, some films don't age all that well. This one has aged beautifully. It's a 1933 version of Little Women, directed by George Cukor and starring Katherine Hepburn at age 26. Movie produced by David O. Selznick when he was 31 and running the RKO Studios in Hollywood before he became an independent producer and at age 36 produced Gone with the Wind. Little Women, of course, comes from the beloved novel about four daughters in a closely knit family of humble means, the daughters surviving adolescent pains, sisterhood, and romantic illusions looked after by their nurturing mother, while the father of the family is off fighting in the Civil War. Now, this was only the fourth film Katherine Hepburn had made, and she was already very well known, but not particularly well loved. Most movie audiences at this point found her a very odd duck, that nasal Bryn Mawr voice, the uppity attitude that she seems to convey. But it was with this movie, Little Women, that audiences across the country first fell in love with Katherine Hepburn. It's a role that humanized her to audiences and made the majority of moviegoers like her very much. In the movie, she plays the heroine Joe, bossy, tomboyish Joe, and so comfortable with her family and her life that she's terrified whenever she sees any kind of change begin to happen. The bottom line, it is classic Hepburn. She was never spunkier or more attractive. And she's done by a cast that includes Joan Bennett, Frances D, and Jean Parker as her sisters, also, Paul Lucas, Edna May Oliver, Spring Byington, and Douglas Montgomery. Everybody, directed by the great George Cukor. So from 1933, Little Women. <laughs> 